Hello everyone. Welcome to another session with Joy of Reading. Tell me, what is a drone? That is going to be today's story. The author of the story is Shabnam Minvalla and the illustrator is Ruchi Bakshi and the publisher is Pratham Books. Have you ever met a drone? Sometimes it has many wings. A drone is not a dragonfly. Have you seen something called a drone? Let's see what it is. Seems it has many wings. Look at this, this has many wings. So is this a drone? No, this looks like a dragonfly. It flies from one roof to another. A drone is not a bird. It seems that the drone can fly from one roof to another. It can fly around. So is this a drone? No, this is a bird. Is this a drone? No, this is an aircraft or an aeroplane. It has a pouch to carry things in. A drone is not a kangaroo. So do you know what a pouch is? You carry your pencil, eraser, pen, everything in, in a bag like thing, right? Small bag, that's called a pouch. So a drone also has a pouch to carry things. Even a kangaroo has a pouch, but this is a kangaroo. It has a pouch. There is a small or a little kangaroo inside the pouch. This is a drone and here a drone carries a, a camera. In its pouch, it has a camera attached to it. It can detect Seema's house by the sea and Iqbal's house in the city. A drone is not a spy. Okay, this is Seema's house near the sea. It can detect. Do you know what detect is? Detect is to find. To see, search and find. So it can find where Seema's house is. It can also find where Iqbal's house is. But it is not a spy. Do you know what a spy is? Spy is someone who secretly gets information about things. It could be from an enemy country or it could be your someone who is not a friend of yours is trying to come and listen to what you're saying secretly trying to listen in so but this is not a spy it delivers parcels in 30 minutes a drone is not a postman look it, it seems a drone can deliver Parcels, if you attach something here, it can deliver to another place within 30 minutes, it seems. But it's not a postman. A postman also delivers. What does he deliver? He delivers post parcels. But this is a machine. Then what is a drone? A drone is a clever machine. So it's neither. It's not a postman. It's not a bird. It's not a dragonfly. It is a clever machine. It flies, it finds addresses, it takes photographs from up above, it carries parcels from one place to another. So it can so, do so many things. It flies around. Look, it's flying around. It can find addresses. If you give it an address and say deliver this, to this address, it will go and deliver to that address. So it can carry parcel from one place to another. And if you let it fly and ask it to take pictures of a place, it will take pictures from above. Right now, drones are busy learning their jobs. Sometimes they make mistakes. They crash into buildings. They fall from the sky but there are rules that stop them from flying everywhere. So these drones are not perfect yet. They make mistakes. They are still learning their jobs. 
What can it do? It can crash into buildings. It can dash with the buildings. Look at one that has fallen down. It can fall down from the sky. Also, a drone cannot fly wherever it feels like. There are a lot of rules that says where a drone can fly. Like there are rules for cars, right? How it can go, how fast it can go. Like that, drones also have rules. One day, drones will crisscross the skies. They will rush and deliver medicines to villages in the hills. They will count tigers in forests and help protect them. They will photograph hidden corners of our planet. So what will happen? These drones, which are not perfect yet, will become very good at its job. So you can see them flying all over. So what all can they do? They can help us in many ways. How? So if there is a village in a mountain, say in the Himalayas, and you want to deliver some medicine to uh, people there in that village. So instead of people driving their cars or going, which will take so many hours, you can tie up the medicines like they have done here and tell the drone, please deliver it to that village in Himalayas. So it will go and deliver. So if there is a forest and you want to count the number of tigers in it, you can ask the drone to fly all over the forest and ask them to count the number of tigers. And if there are places that even humans have not visited, we can let the drone fly on top of it, over it, and take photographs of those hidden corners. One day, drones will carry biryani from a restaurant to Seema's house. Drones will carry books from the library to Iqbal's house. Drones will fly with birds outside your window. Maybe someday soon, you will meet a drone. So what can happen? Seema, this is Seema waiting for her biryani from her favorite restaurant. A drone can come and deliver it to her. Drones can help in getting books from the library. When you see outside from your window, you can probably see a lot of drones flying along with birds. All these can happen sometime soon in the future. Hopefully, we get to see a drone very soon. Hope you enjoyed today's story. Shall we see some of the difficult words that we have seen in today's story? Dragonfly. It's a fast flying insect with transparent wings. You can see the picture of a dragonfly in the slide. Kangaroo. A large animal which jumps with its back legs and has a pouch in the front for its little ones. These animals are found in Australia. You would have seen these animals in TV. They leap and jump. The next word is to detect. It means to find. Pouch. You all would have seen a pouch or used a pouch. You can see a picture of the pouch in, in the screen. A pouch is a bag or a container to keep things. It's a small one. A spy. Spy means it's a person who gets information secretly. As always, we have a few questions for you. My first question is, can anyone build a drone? What materials do you think you need to build a drone? The second question is, do you want to build your own drone? If you build your own drone, what would you want it to do? My final question is, how will you explain what a drone is to your grandparents? Thanks for listening to this story. Until next time, this is Soumya, signing off.